Hi there. So how are you pulling your power usage into your Home Assistant? Today we're going to talk about the Home Assistant Glow project and I'm going to give you a brief introduction of how I've implemented this with my Home Assistant system. So welcome, my name is Simon. This is the first in a video series that I am starting on Home Assistant. Uh, I moved into a new home almost a year ago and um, started playing with a couple of LED, colored LED bulbs and uh, Amazon Alexa and very quickly found that I was running out of options. So looked around and came across the Home Assistant on some of the videos and forums and installed it on a Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, quickly found that that wasn't going to work, so upgraded to a Pi 4, 4 gig, and then added the SSD RAM, which is now performing really, really well. So one of the things I wanted to do was access the power usage of my home so that I could see what was going on there. Um, looked at a couple of ways doing it using Shelly EM or a few other ways of trying to access the data from the smart meter and um, came across this Home Assistant Glow. Uh, looked like a really simple project, uh, cheap components, and decided to give it a bash. Uh, first thing you need to do is check that your smart meter has got a flashing LED. Um, that's one of the key things. Some of them don't, uh, but as long as you've got the flashing LED, it should work fine. That LED will flash faster as you're using more power, and this tool will uh, detect the flashing speed and convert that into the power usage and pull that into your home assistant. So really simple, there's a couple of components you need to buy. Um, I just ordered them off AliExpress um, and they came within two to four weeks. I live in Auckland, New Zealand and um, Ali seems to be a really cheap and easy way to get these components. First thing you need is an ESP32 board um, as your microcontroller or microprocessor. And secondly, you need a photodiode board. Um, I'll put the link for both those two components in the um, below the video here that you can just click on those and order them for yourselves. Other things that you'll need is uh, three DuPont jumper cables um, to connect the two devices. Uh, you'll need a small 5 volt um, mobile phone power supply and a USB cable to run from the power supply across to your ESP32 dev board. Um, so once you've got those things, um, the other things that you'll need to do is You'll need to have ESP Home installed and up and running on your Home Assistant. Um, I'll put a link below to one of the videos that shows you how to do that. Um, so once you've got all of that, um, first thing you need to do is connect up your hardware. So the way you're going to do this is you're going to use your three cables. Um, you're going to connect from the 3.3 volt power supply, not the 5 volt, on your ESP32. Connect from that over to the positive VCC and or positive supply on your photodiode board. Secondly, you're going to connect from ground on your ESP32 to ground on your photodiode. And the third thing you're going to go is from the DO pin uh, on the photodiode across to GPO, GPIO12 on the ESP32. You could use other pins, but um, I found it works really well with GPIO12. So you connect those three up and you can then um, Move forward with the project. So what you'll need to do is copy the code out of the GitHub page, uh, which class has very kindly put together for us. Um, copy that over the uh, YAML code, stick that into ESP Home, upload it to your ESP32 device, and then plug it in. Uh, next step is to take your photo diode and face the diode directly at the flashing LED. Now, uh, Klaus has done a really, really smart looking 3D printer board. Unfortunately, I don't have a 3D printer yet, so I have just stuck mine on with a piece of black electrician's tape. Seems to work fine. Um, the other thing is that I have placed my ESP32 outside of the metal box that contains my smart meter because that was shielding the Wi-Fi signal and I wasn't getting a good communication between the two. Um, so once you've taped that up and connected it, um, powered it up, um, you should then be able to go into your Home Assistant and you should be able to find the sensor for Home Assistant Glow. And all I've done is I've connected it up and I have um, 
put in a gauge into my smart um, into my dashboard my lovelace dashboard and that's how i'm displaying my power consumption i then went and um, configured it to come through into the um, the power management side or the power uh, usage side of home assistant which has worked really well so that's it for today uh, just a brief intro to home assistant glow um, i hope you found this video useful please give me any feedback um, being my first video it's not very professional but at least it gives you some idea how to do this project and feel free to put in the comments below any other projects you'd like to look at um, the next one i'm going to be looking at is a water tank level monitor that i've created using a shelly uni and a um, a sensor that i put into the tank so thank you very much and look forward to chatting again bye then